the off lane. It seems like more likely because you need to help the Bristol a little mm. at the start, so they would probably leave the disruptor with the Bristol back on the safe lane. Probably, I yeah, he's gonna he they notice something is wrong. The supports are not at top. So they do move in, puts out the cast, big play, Disruptor's gonna lock in Kuroki, Kuroki's gonna get stuck with 430, Ferrari doing some serious damage, one more right click will finish the job, and down he goes, and it could be Puppy as well, Puppy came in, and a huge rotation by Luo confirms the double kill, double damage rune did not hurt, and they get a beautiful play in the mid to start. They're gonna make a play at top with the yeah. glimpse. Here comes the move, they drop the tombstone, they want to go for the charge, the slow is there, Ferrari's closing but a bit too slow, and it looks like they may get out of this one, the glimpse comes backwards, nice cast by Coddle, Faith dropping low, not enough, down goes the Witch Doctor, and away walks Invictus, Gate comes out, we got a little bit of a slideshow, but we're going to stick around because it looks like Arteezy came in to try and get it, he's on the run, gets glimpsed backwards, hit with the tombstone, they're on the chase, Arteezy dropping low, do they have enough to stop him? Faith not interested in going back, he wants to keep the chase going, and they end up getting the kill on Arteezy, but the rest of the crew has shown up and the chase is on. Faith gonna try to kite away, make a little bit of space by going into the jungle. He drops pretty low, S4 finishes his job. Now it's Chuan going back towards the tower. Hit and taken down, and that ends up being, they got the Arteezy kill, but the cost seems a bit. Admit, but Bristol was farming top Radiant's because top of Secret Force attack. to help out Arteezy, and bottom lane, Zaha was side makes a move, hit with the Walrus Punch, comes in, throws out the Shackle. Now we see, goes straight into Snowball, the TP comes out by Dirge, wants to come in, goes for the attack, in he goes, but it's not going to be enough, they lose the Tusk. And uh, Luo, as they rotate towards that top lane, Kuroki pushing in, S4 going into the tower, this could be trouble for him, as Rotation comes from the back, goes into the Snowball from Hell, it catches, it punches, it dices, slices, and makes pizza pie as they get the double kill up on the top lane. Kuroki going into the woods, but what can he do other than just buy a little bit of time? Yeah, Down it was just a very, very good uh, small game because they were they were showing one hero in middle. They were showing that they finished up on the Shadow Fiend. So Ferrari with a little more survival, a little bit of extra push potential. But he does get hit by the Arteezy stun right away. Shocked by lightning, and now he's got to take off. But here comes the Calvary. It's Faith and the crew as they show up. Nice knockback. From Puppy will be enough, the Tombstone comes down, Silent goes out, Arteezy up, Arteezy down! And now Lua wants to make a chase, no one's going to leave the Tombstone zone though, and they stick around, that Lestrat kill well attack. worth everything. He's gonna go down here, he's surrounded. Oh, I'll be out, up on top, so that is Bristol. Not gonna be able to take anybody with him. S4 getting a little low, but the ultimate just too strong. And the top tower does look like it should be strong. The previous TP mid just now wasn't paying attention. That's why they couldn't, they, they were move around the map by secret, even though they lost the last shot previously, but... Oh, he's gonna get attack again down the bottom, wants to go on Chuan, but out comes the snowball. Gonna hit him, stun him, lock him in place. Arteezy not interested in walking away though. Wants to keep going, Chuan's gotta fall back. Walrus punch to the face. Down goes Arteezy, so did not want to run for the tower, tried to get the kill on Chuan and ended up costing him his life. Keeping pace with the Shadow Fiend in terms of farm about two minutes ago, and now he's at 4.7 compared to the 6.5, and that's going to be very, very tough for him. In comes Zai, goes ahead, does a nice slide of fist, gets the stun up on Chuan, he's going to drop down to the rotation from S4. Here comes the rolling ball, going to crack into Zai, Zai in some trouble, gets stunned, gets knocked out. He's going to go down with the ulti from Ferrari, S4 has to try to get out of this one, Ice Shards push him away from the tower as they will continue to just wail on it, and this should be a lost bottom tower, S4 pops the ulti, wants to go in, burning through the summit, pops and quills, and now we should see Idea, they're going to back away or engage, they decide to engage, Luo goes in deep, catches Arteezy, pops him up in the air, he goes down again! Puppy has to run away. S4 is in deep. No one else around. Does get the Shadow Fiend, but he's being chased from the back. He slows, hits the mech, heals himself up. Here comes the Slight of Fist, hits everyone. S4 still very low. He's gonna live as he gets away. Zyri can have it. Takes out Luo. Takes out two. The Bristle uh, back was, down. That was a really good buyback from the Ember. This is one of the few things that the Ember can do early to mid game. Mm -hmm. Lashrak situation. It also depends when are they gonna get the rush. Mm -hmm. Not only the match situation. Oh, they come in, big engagement, Nasty stun, gets the double, in comes the Witch Doctor Alti, ripping Faith apart, Arteezy getting low, so is Luo, Faith manages to get out, but he's gonna back off, Luo gonna fall back, they lost Arteezy again in that engagement, and IG withdraws. So I see that uh, it's not necessarily that way. Yeah, here's here the big come. rotation. IG wants Dyer's to get back into this. They want to take the lead. They're going to see Kuroki. Puppy walks into it, gets hit, rocked, and knocked down pretty hard. Miss Chance not going to be that, that big was, a help. That was a really important play they needed to make. You need to wrap around if you're against a Kotal. Him down. Arteezy looks like he might want to go in here. Throws 
up the lightning. Goes ahead and hits Faith, but Faith wants to engage. Puts down the tombstone. Silence is there. RTG locked in. In comes Zai. Gonna start bouncing around. Immediately we see the snowball come out. He's gonna start straight at RTZ. Everyone's there. RTZ taking a lot of damage. He will go down. Faith dropping low. S4 putting into serious work. And they will lose that. Burning dropping now as well. S4 doing everything he can to try and take out that bristle. Swan turns back around. S4 is gonna get by the shards. Goes to the TP away. In comes Zai. Gets the stun on Chuan. Chuan's gonna drop down. And now the chase is on as they want to kill themselves. Some burning. Can burning get away? He cannot. He's hit with the stun. Zai with the right clicks. One more will do the job. Not gonna happen. Heals up. And now it's Zai that can be in some trouble. He's gonna jump away. Goes after the remnant. Hut gets to safety. Hits the TP. Should be able to get out of this one as the ice shards miss. Yeah, there was even a real uh, recall there just to make the safety. He just gave us a little bit of a heart attack as he did it. Meanwhile, we go back to the mid where Poppy's leading another charge. Going in for Burning, puts up the mana leak, but they get the stun on Chuan. Chuan's isolating gets pulled into the snowball. Snowball on the chase for Arteezy. Arteezy hits with the Lara's punch. Silence is going to come out behind a little bit of space. He's on the run. He's going to go down. Lua taking some damage now, but the whole team is there. They catch S4. S4 goes down. That's the double. IG feeling pretty good right now as they keep the push going. We will see the disrupt the glimpse backwards, and again, Witch Doctor is going to be picked off. A triple kill for IG that will allow them to push right down this lane. Here comes the Illuminate, and uh, they actually see it coming basically and get out of the way. Nicely done, and this will mean a tower oh, the for them. Snowball. snowball chase all the way in. Luo and Faith get knocked back into the tower. Luo taking some damage. In comes Zai, wants to make a move, wants to make them pay for their hubris. Now Faith on the run along with Luo. They are going to get glimpsed backwards, so that is their forced escape, and they don't get the tower. Uh, that was uh, that was a little lucky that the toss didn't die. He didn't get hit by the And chains. now Faith could be in some trouble. Zai comes in and he gets him, catches him with those searing chains. But the chase isn't over as he continues to try to chase these guys down. So Zai ends up getting a good turnaround. Doing something like this, you need to make sure you don't die. Otherwise, the whole chain reaction, the rhythm oh, is gone. engagement, they do go in and they catch Zai. The rhythm doesn't keep going like this. And it looks like that's what they're up to. Luo, Ferrari, and FaZe looking to make some moves. Blink and they catch the Razor. S4 in some trouble. Pops the BKB. Can he survive? He comes through the back, comes burning. His BKB is running. They want to finish off S4. He's dropping low. A couple more will do it. They do manage to get him picked off. A good play by them. And now they've managed to get two kills in the course of about a two minutes. And uh, after a very... But they can. Oh, Meanwhile, up on top, Arteezy and Burning going head to head. Burning gets fueled, throw it in the air. The stun's going to come out. Burning is gonna die. Nice play by Arteezy. Oh, I recall. Is he getting out? No, he does get popped. He's going on Chuan though. He's not afraid. Wants to go. Chuan's got to back away. Arteezy now on the run. Lots of speed. Gonna get glimpsed backwards. This will be the end of Arteezy. And they do finally stop the split pusher. And, and all that and he suicides and he got a kill on the bristle. <laughs> so less possible that to do that. Ferrari does have the uh, Scythe of Vice up, so he's going to go ahead and be able to utilize that. Blinks in, immediately finds Arteezy, yeah. hits him with the Hex, follows with the Chase. Going to try to do what he can, but Arteezy throws up the Yule Scepter. Too, too tanky. Too fast, too tanky. Comes out, but the rest of the group wow, is he, coming in. He almost, he almost got hit by the Shadow Fiend once, and wow. that would have canceled the, the recall. Puppy and Arteezy so. playing with fire, uh, but so far it is working out for them. In comes Zai, makes the engagement, goes in, catches Chuan. Chuan is in trouble, jumps away, comes back, slight of fist. Chuan low, he's gonna drop. Luo now inside. How comes the silence? Will it be enough? No, he's gonna go down, but he has the Aegis, so he's coming back up. S4 gets up the link, wants to go on burning, pops the BKB. Luo is in trouble, caught behind. In comes Ferrari to try to make the fight happen. Pops the ultimate, doing a lot of damage, but he is in the middle of enemy territory. Kuroki now on the run, dropping pretty low. They end up killing. Killing Ferrari, Faith now on the run, gets hit with the stun, he is going to go down here as well, and that's going to be a four man plus an Aegis for a Witch Doctor. Yeah, there was a, they got Beta into a really bad position there, because they were fighting into a choke point, and the Razor drained a lot of damage, and get all three. Divided fallen. we stand. Divided we stand. That is exactly the name. That, that was secret strategy from the start Dyer's in this game. And it's working out for him. Arteezy putting a ton of tower damage into here. We already lost the top tower. We're going to lose the range rack down the bottom. We see an engagement that is going to go in on the Amber Spirit. So Zai gets a tower and almost a rack. But ends up going down. He buys back. Wants to come back into this. Nice play with the glimpse. Pulls back Arteezy. He's going to go ahead and get the stomp up. Catches two. But Walrus punches the face. The heels are too strong. Lulo goes down. Bristleback drops. The tombstone means nothing to Zai as he eats his way through it. Buyback from the bristle and it looks like Secret will disengage at this point. 
Nice play by Secret. They got in, but it's not over because 4 has got the blink. Comes in on Puppy. Puppy dropping pretty low. Pops the BKB, but help from Kuroki. Says, you won't kill my Puppy, and instead, I will kill your Dirge. And Ferrari. Ferrari on the run. He's going to go down as well. It's another triple. No buybacks. GG from IG. And Secret plays keep away until they take the racks, break the high ground. Such well execution. The way they played the game. And yesterday, C9 was was doing the same thing, but it wasn't so well executed mm. as uh, how Secret played this game. So what a game! Just, what a job by uh, Secret yeah, to execute perfectly. It's like a, a lineup which has.